Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. I'm Pastor Sheehan. And I'm Deacon Micah. And today uh, we have a thought-provoking topic. Mm -hmm. The topic is actually... Provoke? Oh, provoke, yes. <laughs> I mean, you've heard the word provoke before, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. um, when you hear that word, it's not generally a positive no. word. It's a negative word, right? Because mm -hmm. we provoke people to... Jealousy, yeah. anger... Frustration. Yeah. Hostility. Annoyance. Annoyance. Yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. generally a bad thing, right? Yeah. And even uh, the New Testament kind of agrees with us, does mm -hmm. agree with us. Um, like 1 Corinthians 10, 22. Shall we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? Ephesians 6, 4. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Hebrews 3, 10. Therefore, I was provoked with that generation and said, they always go astray in their heart. They have not known my ways. So even scripture agrees that uh, generally the word provoke is a negative word, provoking people to jealousy, to anger, to hostility, to lots of bad, bad stuff. But, this is a huge B-U-T but, there's actually a place in the New Testament in, uh, in Hebrews where the sermonator, the preacher of Hebrews, uses the word provoke not in a negative way, but in a positive way, it's thought provoking. Yes, it is. So where is that, Deaconess Micah? It's in Hebrews 10, 24. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. Love and good works. Stir up? Is, Stir up. Well, can you tell me more about that word, though, in the Greek? Yeah, that's the same word that Pastor was just using. It's the word provoke. Yeah. So another way you could have it is yeah. how to provoke one another to love and good works. Kind of changes uh, how we see the word provoke, especially mm -hmm. in the church. Right. I mean, you know, here in in Grace, mm -hmm. Auburn, Michigan, mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we, we see ourselves kind of as cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. We want to encourage... The members here, the brothers and sisters in Christ, to uh, to uh, to really um, not step on toes, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. but it, it provoke to anger and, and right. hostility and jealousy. Mm -hmm. uh, we we actually we want to put this into practice. Exactly, we, we want to uh, help our members because you know we're we're in close proximity, you mm -hmm. know, uh, underneath one roof. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how church life goes, and it's mm -hmm. easy to step on toes and mm -hmm. and get people uh, provoked to do all sorts of bad stuff. Um, and so uh, here at Grace, we want to encourage people to uh, provoke one another to love and good works. Uh, mm -hmm. how, how do we do that? How can mm -hmm. we do that? Oh, lots how, of How ways. about that word love? That word, start yeah, that. start with that word love. I mean, think about it. When we were baptized, um, our Lord Jesus brought us into his life of love. I mean, he's the one who first loved us. And so by dying on the cross and then making us a part of his family, clothing us with, with himself. And so when we were baptized, we were given love lenses. Love lenses. And they're not, uh, they're not uh, rose colored. They are red colored. Yeah. With, with his love. Blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. His bleeding love, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we get to see everyone through these love lenses every morning we get to make the sign of the cross and remember mm -hmm. our baptism mm -hmm. and we get to put on these love lenses and see everyone in the church and really everyone in our lives mm -hmm. through those love lenses right. and we get to see everyone as a person that jesus also loves, loves. yeah mm -hmm. the popular kids not so popular popular kids the uh, the a students the f students the, the jocks mm -hmm. the jocks the, the lazy kids mm-hmm the homeschoolers and the public schoolers. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. everyone, everyone, mm -hmm. everyone. And, uh, and you know, so we see people through these uh, love lenses mm -hmm. and, uh, and we, want, uh, we want to actually provoke them mm -hmm. uh, to beautiful works, to good works. Mm -hmm. How can we do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, in little ways, uh, right where you're at. So like um, provoking uh, your parents to love and good works with... Uh, um, I thank you for looking at what they did for you um, and how you talk to them um, yeah. when they tell you to uh, do the dishes, do a chore, or do your homework. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Or, or like a classmate uh, in school who's struggling with, with a school subject. 
encouraging them as they're struggling on and maybe helping them with with that subject if you can. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think with siblings, you know, you get chores and, uh, you know, maybe you get the chores done, your chores done before your sibling. And Mm -hmm. instead of just going, no, 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 I beat you. (laughs) So much better. Now I can go play. Uh Well, you work. uh, You work. (laughs) <laughs> um, coming alongside the sibling and, and helping the sibling because mm-hmm. there will be times when your sibling gets, uh, you know, the chores done before you do. And, mm-hmm. you know, that sibling will maybe come alongside you and help you out because mm-hmm. love provokes love. Generosity mm-hmm. provokes generosity. Mm-hmm. Uh, kindness provokes kindness. Yeah. Grace provokes grace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's starting an infestation. Our Lord starts something because he first loves us and then we don't just bottle up the love, but we keep loving. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, dear baptized, uh, I hope this was a uh, thought provoking. provoking. Yeah. I, hope, I, I pray that, you know, we pray that you see the word provoke in, uh, in a whole new light. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not just a negative word. It's and positive. It's a positive word. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a building up word. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a word that doesn't, uh, have to mean always tear down. No, Mm -hmm. actually, with that verse from Hebrews, it's actually something Mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, see in a whole new light that we can build up Mm -hmm. the body of Christ. We can build up the family. We can Mm -hmm. build up Mm -hmm. uh, the students around us. We can build up the athletes around us. We can build up the neighbor. Mm -hmm. We can be that person who puts on, you know, those love lenses and see those opportunities where we can actually provoke to love and good works, provoke uh, to kindness, provoke to goodness Mm -hmm. and mercy uh, and love. Yeah. We all get to be cheerleaders with big provoke pom-poms. Is that how this works? I I like that. that, I like that. (laughs) Provoke Uh, pom-poms. It's a new thing. uh, You will probably buy me some now and they will be on my desk. (laughs) So happy being provocative. I think that's what it comes down to. Mm Mm-hmm. In uh, this Hebrews 10 way. Mm-hmm. Yep. So happy provoking people in your life mm-hmm. to love and good, good. works. Yep. Mm-hmm. So that's it for this episode. Uh, by his wounds. We are healed. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.